For my PD time, I uh, did a couple of things. I um, earned my master's in health policy through the Stanford division um, uh, for uh, with, partner with epidemiology, um, so master's in health policy, which was phenomenal. Uh, and then I also completed a fellowship through the VA's uh, division of health services research, research and development um, through their center of implement or innovation to implementation. You're getting your hands dirty on the ground in order to implement the policies that you come up with, it, come up with in these big boardrooms and theoretically what it actually takes to, uh, to implement those policies and the implications then of uh, the implementation of those policies, being able to measure both before and after what the effects of these health policies are. I uh, found, at least during my first three years of, of um, clinical work as, as a resident, that there was a sometimes some, a, somewhat of a disconnect in between sort of the work that we do clinically as well as uh, then what we end up seeing sort of uh, from a reimbursement standpoint from Medicare and being able to sort of reconcile and trying to get a sense of where does that money go at least to from a hospital um, perspective as well as our greater healthcare system like why are things so expensive um, and what can we do to reduce costs and still be able to deliver high high value care and so that um, question of being able to answer what is high value care and then how do we then deliver it? Um, those are kind of my two driving questions in order that uh, helped me figure out what I wanted to pursue during my research years. My PD time has helped to, um, at least has helped to spawn a number of projects that I'm still involved in uh, and have been able to uh, continue working on with my, uh, with my excellent research mentors within the Department of uh, with the Department of Surgery as well as the Division of Vascular Surgery and um, continue to, oh, sorry about that, <laughs> continue to um, uh, publish those, uh, publish that work within uh, with journals like, such as uh, JAMA Surgery and um, hopefully uh, larger journals um, thereafter. The work that we have been, uh, we've been doing is um, essentially trying to figure out how frailty can be implemented, how the frailty, um, an objective measurement of frailty can be implemented into surgical clinics more broadly in order to be able to um, do a number of things. One, inform better ha ha uh, Kind of shared decision making with uh, patients and providers prior to, to, to undergoing a procedure, and two, we can uh, get a better idea, have, give surgeons a better idea of the longer term ramifications of doing even just a very simple, what seems to be minor procedure, such as a hernia repair on a patient who is frail, and what the, um, the fact that one in ten patients. Um, and even one in five patients may be, may be deceased at six months may help to inform their, uh, both the patients and the surgeons, uh, decision-making process about whether or not to proceed with this, um, with, the, with the surgery itself.